I can't remember what actually was happening there, but it seems to be rather an important occasion because we've got the governor on the left, then we've got the city electrical engineer, Ernest Andrew, there. Then you've got John Mayling and myself, but then I think this is Joseph Patron. And, uh, and obviously I think it's from looking at the background, I think it's on the, in the, the reception room upstairs in the city hall. So um, John Mayling really was uh, the man who was town clerk when I became the assistant and uh, he was a terrific lover of the council and made sure that everything was always super, super well done. <laughs> and uh, I had a very good example to follow when I took over from him 10 months later. And of course down here you've got Howard Davis, who everyone knows. And um, we are, uh, uh, he's at, this is at the inauguration of a new engine in the King's Bastion power station. 1961, of course, all of those things now, that's where there's a leisure centre now, of course. Um, but that's where we were putting them because it was a very good place because the noise was contained. And I got on very well with um, well, Howard Davis. We were, uh, in a sense, he was in charge of the secretariat and I was in charge of the council. And uh, we got on well and um, uh, we, any difficulties that there were with the secretariat or with the, any of the armed forces, you know, was, were always cleared up pretty quickly, you know, and um, the armed forces especially, because as they started getting less in number, you know, they had less uh, need for houses and things like that, so when we started building new power stations and doing other things like that, they were, they were um, quite willing to, uh, to, uh, to give them up, as indeed they did for the housing, of course. Like the Vera Baker Sig, of course, is a, is a good example of that. And um, so that was how in 1961. So how would you describe, for somebody who hasn't a clue about what the job of town clerk entailed, what would you say? Well, it was, um, we, we, got, we used to do many more things than um, they did in England, because uh, not only did we do the markets and the highways, and, uh, but we also did all the... Um, public utilities. We did the telephones, we did the electricity, we also did gas at the time uh, and uh, um, uh, it was, um, I had something like 17 heads of department under me. Um, so <laughs> it was very, very interesting. I mean, I was never bored being town clerk because I never knew from one day to another what was going to appear in my in desk, my in basket. And, um, but um, all the, the people that I worked with, all the heads of the department were incredibly good and nice and they accepted me even though I was the youngest of all of them. <laughs> and uh, whenever they had a problem they used to come straight to me and, and we would solve it. The only major problems we had were with Spain because of course, um, but otherwise everything went very well. But we have been prepared for that so when, for example, the <coughs> Spaniards withdrew all their labour from one Friday to the Monday. Um, our biggest department, which was the King, the, power, the Works Department, you know, already had enough people who weren't Spaniards to take the thing over, so we had no problem there. And it was very enjoyable. I mean, I loved my time here. And in fact, you know, if we hadn't had the merger, I would have been here till retirement. But uh, when they merged, I tried a new job in the Secretariat which I set up an apartment for them and then I decided that uh, I really wanted to leave and uh, do something different and uh, I never regretted that because I've had a very interesting life after that. <laughs> good for you, good for you. So you, you've had a nice walk around with Anthony Pitalou. Yes. What, what do you make of the exhibition? I think it's absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. He has covered every single thing that he should have covered and more. It's brilliant. I mean, I, I would recommend anyone who hasn't been here to come and, and to see it, really, because they will learn a lot about the history of Gibraltar and about one, what went on in the last hundred years, you know, and they, it'll be, and they'll really enjoy it, and I think they will be proud of what, in fact, uh, was accomplished.